just in the last week, three of my closest friends and, and a relative have been diagnosed with cancer. And that's not an uncommon story to be what we as a community call constantly in grief, loss and trauma. I'm Janine Mohammed. I'm a Naranga Ghana woman, mother of five, and I'm living on Ngunnawal country. When I went to primary school, the amount of time that I had off, whether it be going with my mum to the doctors or, you know, um, staying away from school because we didn't have enough food in the house so that we could actually go to school. It was at that period in time that I started to realise that we experienced a very different Australia to other Australians. Why does Aboriginal people suffer with all these, the life expectancy gaps and chronic diseases? The medical component of it is only one part of what we've got to focus on. There is centuries of things that have happened and contributed to where Aboriginal people are now. We're saying we can resolve it in a generation. And that's what we're asking everyone to get on board with this and maybe be part of the generation that closes this gap forever. I'm Alicia, I'm 16. Yeah, we do a youth group, Solid Young Sisters and Brothers. Going to Solids is a great way to boost your mental health. Yeah, there's a sense of family here. Yeah. Because they're people that understand us and our identity. Because I'm lighter skinned, people will come up to me and say, you're not Aboriginal or you don't look Aboriginal. And that really does attack me mentally. Going to Solids, is just a great way of knowing my identity and how my people are strong and we know how to get through all of this. I believe connection to land, connection to family, connection to who your traditional tribe is, who your traditional clan group is, is very important. It has an effect on someone's self-esteem, how strong they are. And if someone does challenge your identity, well then you know where the foundation is. And so that's part of that, your culture, being founded in you, which then um, makes you a stronger person and makes you a healthier person and also better for other people to be around you. The Gap's going to take a tremendous effort. The Aboriginal communities need to be leading it and need to be designing the, the best program, the best services for their local area. And together, with the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people at the front and centre of that, we will see success. This isn't just an Aboriginal issue, it's an Australian issue. Well, my name is Peter Jane and I'm from Model World Station. Where we are right now is some uh, cool land. What I love about it is working with all the boys, getting all the family to be strong, look after the community, look after the kids, try to build it back. That's the main thing we're looking for our young kids, learning both ways, like Balanda and Bini. I think every kid that's going there, taking all this good, healthy food, go to school after that, and then when they come back, they have to learn our way. That's what we're doing, and we're passing this our knowledge to our kids. For my little boy, I want him to respect the old people, that they are giving him knowledge and understanding. I want him to respect the community. When his grandfather come down from art station, he stay sitting down next to him. He's singing and he's dancing and he's listening. That's important. So he can be strong and healthier, you know? you know, and keep holding it. The language, the skin names. It makes you feel like healthy, yeah. It makes you proud. It makes you proud where you're from, what you do, for your culture, for your people. <laughs> The song, it's in the heart. Songs, it's the dream time. That's our history. And then in that history, we're bringing to the front to show everyone. Because we don't want them to lose it. We don't want them to be lost. We want to be strong with our spirit, with our mind, everything. That's what we want. We're a people 
that um, didn't lie down. We're resilient, we're still here, you know, after all the adversity that we've been through. And I think that's the, the one thing that I'm most proud of. We're still here today. We have so many wonderful role models in Aboriginal health and we've got these vibrant, probably more resilient than ever, young people coming through knowing what the answers are and we just need partners. That's why we need you, Belinda, to give us a hand. And we need a long-term commitment from so many different areas and for once in this nation, Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people can enjoy the same sort of life expectancy and the quality of life every other Australian. Help us close the gap. Yeah!